Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless everyone. Today God will speak into you, your hearts. I believe. Hallelujah. I'm happy to come in this uh, page before you. So God will speak into your hearts. Hallelujah. So today when I was reading my Bible in my room, Holy Spirit gave me a verse from John 15. It says that the Father, Heavenly Father will be glorified if you bear fruit and you will be my disciples, Jesus is saying. How many of you are disciples of Jesus Christ? I welcome my sister of faith and wives. Uh, hallelujah, sister Clary Offrey. Thank you Lord for um, viewing this live video. So God will speak uh, to you, I believe. Uh, this word will bring changes in your life. I can see uh, everyone's name, sister Sandy Beach, Colleen, sister everyone. So God is going to bless you, sister Ramya Rai, welcome. So God is going to do many, many great things in everyone's life, I believe. Hallelujah. So before coming into the world, let us close our eyes to God to speak to each and every one of us. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you Lord for this fine day you are given. You speak into everyone's heart. Let there be clarity in every sense. Um, let the power of God be released. Give me revelation, prophecy, everything. Hallelujah. Only the name of Jesus be exalted. Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. So, um, I was reading the book of John 15, 8. It says, Here, herein is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit. So, you shall you be my, so shall you be my disciples. Actually, Jesus called us for to, to everyone for us to have his disciple. How many of you are disciples of Jesus Christ? You are not uh, called to be just as a believer. You are not called only to just to clap hands when others uh, do great wonders in the name of Jesus. But you are called, you are called to become a disciple of Jesus. You know, many are called, but few are chosen. Why Jesus came into this earth? He came for eternity to bring everyone to eternal life. Moreover, he wants everyone to make us disciples. Because in the book of Matthew 28, 18, Jesus says that all the authority has given to me. So you go and teach to the ends of the earth and make everyone disciples. So God wants us, everyone to be his disciple. Jesus wants everyone to be his disciple. But everyone cannot do become his disciple. Only those who bear fruit. Hallelujah. Only those who please God can only become disciples. Some people, when they have money, they will do business. They will do films. They will do big, big business. But this is gospel work is not like that. The ministry of Jesus is not like that. Only if God chooses us. Only if God selects us, only then we can become his disciple and do his ministry. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus said in the book of um, John 15, 6, he says, You did not choose me, but I chose you. I will read that, what it says. Hallelujah. 15, 6, it says, uh, Hallelujah. You, you did not choose me, but uh, I chose you. To become, uh, uh, to bear fruit. And if you bear fruit, you will be my disciple and you will be, do wonders in my name. Hallelujah. So Jesus is saying that you did not choose me, but I chose you. Hallelujah. So we cannot say that uh, I chose Jesus, but Jesus chose us. Today, this morning, God will speak to everyone's hearts, I believe. I finance Mark uh, Noha. Finance is opening for you, Holy Spirit is saying, and you are lifting to the next dimension. Many corrections you are getting. You are you are going to you are fearing something, but the Holy Spirit is saying nothing to be afraid because God has great plans for you, and it is the time for you all the plans to be fulfilled because you are almost reached the destination. Hallelujah. So I see you staying in an hotel. I see you moving from uh, one place to another place and doing for the Lord. So God has great, great plans for you. Hallelujah. So God bless everyone. I thank everyone, those who are watching. Here, uh, the book of John 15, 8, it says, what it says, 
Herein is my father glorified. <clears throat> so the father will be glorified only that you must bear fruit. Today, this morning, how many of you are bearing fruit? How many of you can say that I brought this much uh, believers to my church? How many of you say that I have done so much, so much things for the Lord? Many people uh, have, have doing many business. They are doing great, great things. They are looking after their children. Hey, it's all good. It is all needed in this world. But first you must understand that God, when God chose the Israelites, He told uh, Mo Moses, the leader of the Israelites, that tell the king of, uh, king of Egypt for all that, let the people come out to worship me. So God created everyone to worship him. The second thing is all other things. The first thing is uh, worshiping God. The second thing is everything that is what God gave to us in this world. So Jesus says, if anyone does not uh, follow me, if anyone does not uh, obey my words, he is not worthy to become the disciple of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, it is very important that God created us to worship Him and to obey His words. The second thing is that to love everything that God gave to us. Hallelujah. But many people are doing what are the many people doing? They are loving all the things that God gave to them. No, it is the second thing that we have to love everyone. We have to love our family, we have to love our husband, wife, children, everything. We have to do everything perfectly. When you are working in an office, you must go to that office before it opens. And you have to come out late after sitting there for 5 or 10 minutes. Hallelujah. I also had a job in Middle East some years back in 2008. I reached my office 10 minutes before and I left the office only 10 minutes later because I am working for the, the company but on, on in the name of my God. So I must be, um, I must obey all the rules. When we are in this world, we have to obey all the rules. We have to love everything that God gave to us. We have to love our family. We have to love our children. Everything we have, because it is God who gave to us. But first, we have to love God first. We have to worship Him. That's why He chose us. Hallelujah. He chose us to worship Him. He chose us to love Him. Hallelujah. He chose us to obey His uh, rules. Whatever that is written in the Bible, we have to obey it. Hallelujah. That we have to give first preference to everything to God, His Son Jesus. And to walk according to the tune of Holy Spirit. Here, the word is saying, John 15, 8 is saying, Here is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. So the Father will be pleased. In Old Testament, we can see that uh, there were people used to do sacrifice, bulls, everything. Why? To please God. To please God. So if suppose a man does a sin, he will bring a calf or a dog or a, um, uh, uh, some other animal and he will bring it to the church and they will the, he will give to the priest and the priest will op offer a sacrifice. Why? Because that will be a pleasing to God. But here in the book of John 15, 18, it is saying that the father is not pleased with any other sacrifices, but he is pleased only if you bear fruit. Hallelujah. If you bear fruit for Jesus. Hallelujah. How many of you have brought uh, disciples to Jesus? How many of you have uh, worked for Jesus? That's what uh, bearing fruit. Hallelujah. He chose us to bear fruit. If you only you bear fruit, God, Father will be glorified. Hallelujah. Then whatever you ask in my name, Jesus says that everything will be given to you. Many people want all the prayer requests to be answered. But they are not working for Jesus. They are not doing anything for Jesus. But they want all the prayer requests to be fulfilled by God. No, what Jesus said, first seek the kingdom of God and everything will be added to you. Hallelujah. It is uh, when you go from uh, in, in my place, in my place in Toronto, in India, uh, in the trains there are tea, coffee, everything available. Uh, available in the, tree, uh, in the train, 
Suppose if a person wants to go from one place to another place, in a, maybe it is a two day journey. There is tea, coffee, everything, uh, food, everything available. But nobody will enter into this train for just for having food. Only if a person wants to go to some other place, everything will be provided. Likewise, God created us to worship God. God created us in, in His resemblance to worship Him. While we are in this world, He gave everything for um, a blessing. Everything He created, uh, He gave to us because we want to uh, um, worship God with a happy mind. Hallelujah. So understand. You have everything. You have a good job. You have family. You have children. It is very good. But the first you give preference to God. And if you worship God and if you obey God, God will bless you, multiply you. And God will make you into another, um, uh, another you make me, make, God will make you to reach another destination. Hallelujah. So, Colleen Posey's sister, Holy Spirit is saying that uh, you are going to see the visions clearly. I do not know whether you are um, seeing any visions, but the Holy Spirit uh, has shown me that uh, you are, God is anointing your eyes and you are going to see visions clearly. And uh, I do not know whether you are teaching, some, God is teaching something in your life. Uh, something uh, I see a um, thread uh, and a needle and a cloth and, um, and I see God is teaching something in your life, something adding, whatever you lack, whatever you lack this morning, uh, Colleen sister, uh, God is adding that whatever you lack. I see um, uh, it is from your family, something uh, you lack in your family, God is adding. Yes, it is um, you need at this hour, you need at this hour. It is, uh, I see, um, uh, I do not know whether you are married or you have a husband or I do not know, but uh, you need this at this hour. Holy Spirit is saying, so God is going to bless you in that area. Hallelujah. So you rely on God and God will multiply you. So um, what I was saying is that um, if you bear fruit, God will be glorified and you will become the disciples of Jesus. You know, the disciple, one man asked Jesus, when Jesus was ministering and going from one place to another, one person asked, Jesus, shall I follow you? Uh, shall I follow you? And um, shall I become your disciple? What Jesus said, yes, you come. But he said, I have to bury my father. He said, Jesus said, no, let the dead bury the let the dead bury the dead. You follow me. So Jesus didn't give any consideration to that man. Hallelujah. In my church, I have told all those who minister that you have to come reach before time. Unless I won't allow anyone to minister in my church. So everyone should come. Those who minister in my church will come early because there is no consideration for that. Jesus didn't give consideration he, 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 to anyone because he had a condition that if you become my disciple, you have to obey everything what my father has said. Hallelujah. So today this uh, morning, I'm telling you that uh, John 15, 18, he says, Herein is my father glorified that you bear my fruits, so shall you be my disciples. So if you become the disciple of Jesus, everything will be added to you. God will give you the authority to open the doors. God will give authority to shut the doors. Hallelujah. In the book of Revelation chapter 3, 7, uh, Jesus is saying uh, through the apostle in the vision, in the, um, while he was in the island of Patmos, that Jesus is saying to the Philadelphia church, I am going to give you a door that nobody can shut. Hallelujah. It is the one who is saying that who has the authority to open the doors. When he opens, nobody can shut it. Today this time, 
Holy Spirit is saying that those who are only for those who are bearing fruit, only those who are disciples of Jesus, only those who are dis if suppose if anybody is not a disciple of Jesus after hearing this word, you must uh, pray to God, Lord. At the moment you can pray to God, Lord, make me your disciple. Bless me to become your disciple. If you become the disciple of Jesus, you know, anybody who works in a company, anybody who works in a government sector, there will be insurance for you. There will, his family, there will be uh, children's, will, children will be uh, given the allowance for education. If there somebody go, has to go for any medical um, hospital for some treatment, the company will pay everything. Because when he works in a company, everything is whatever that person is needed during that time, God will, that company will provide everything for that person. Likewise, if you are a disciple of Jesus, it is the duty of, the, duty of Jesus and of God to provide you everything. Understand one thing. When you work in a company, when you work in a company or, a, or, or in a government sector, they will give you pension. Even if you, when you retire. In India, I don't know in any other countries, but in India, everyone who retires at the age of 60 or at the age of 55, hallelujah, at the age of 50, or 60 after retirement they will give pension they are given many benefits many allowance TA, DA, everything many DLS allowance many like that allowance so they can settle anywhere after their retirement peacefully hallelujah and while they are working in the uh, during that working their life they are provided everything with uh, all the facilities they, they have given quarters to stay they have given workers um, to travel because it is the duty of the company to provide everything. It is the duty of the government to give everything to their working servants. Then how much more if you work for the kingdom, the Lord will give us. Without knowing everyone is asking, Lord, I want this, I want this, that, and no. So I am telling you, stop asking God and bear fruit and everything will be added to you. If you bear fruit, everything will be given to you. You need not to pray for your children. You need not to pray for any of your things because everything will be given to you. First seek the kingdom of God and everything will be added to you. Hallelujah. So today this morning, Holy Spirit is saying that if anyone though who, is, um, who wants to become a disciple of Jesus, if anyone who is bearing fruit, God is going to open a door which no one can shut. Hallelujah. It is the Almighty God who is going to open a door. Hallelujah. The properties are coming. Faith into our sister. The property is coming in your name. I do not know whether you have a dispute concerning a, a property. But the, you are going to get a property. It is going to be registered in your name. So need not to be worried. Says the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Sure. The enemy's power is de defeated. It is decreased. Hallelujah. More and more uh, blessings are coming to you in these days. Uh, it is the time to relax. It is not the time to take all the tensions. It is the time to relax. And I see uh, a, a disease coming in your place. A contagious disease is spreading. But it won't come into your house. It won't affect you. You will be protected by God. I see a contagious disease coming in your area. But it won't uh, come into your house. You will be protected by the wall of fire. So you have the grace of God. So God is with you. Glory Shakaraba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <coughs> so... I was telling you about that. <coughs> Hallelujah. I, 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 uh, I, I was telling you then, if you become the disciples, there is provision. If you bear fruit, you will become his disciple. And the father will be glorified. If the father is glorified, 
whatever you wish whatever you desire in your heart that will that you will get hallelujah so you have to please god a child in order to please his mother what what all a child can do he will do he will cry he will bring attention he will um, he will bring attention to his parents because he wants that thing something to get from that parents yeah the bible says if you love me if you obey my word jesus says i will be glorified so god has called us to become his disciple to bear fruit for his shakarandara hallelujah a meeting is held john john about holy spirit is saying that a meeting is held and you are going to preach in that meeting some arguments are going that uh, they want to call somebody else but it is a confirmation that you are going to preach in that meeting hallelujah shakram in the name in the name of jesus in the name of jesus so holy spirit is saying that everyone who bears fruit god is going to take them everyone those who are watching this live video they are going to be taken into the next level how many of you know next level your ministry is going to the next level your finance is going to the next level because the father is glorified your family is going to the next level your children's education going to the next level or oh, remaster be happy sandy joseph sister sister sandy joseph holy spirit is saying be happy be happy in this situation whatever the situation that you face right now holy spirit is saying be happy if you if you are happy in this situation god is uh, protecting your family god is, is uh, what you afraid what you are afraid of uh, i see you are afraid of a division but it won't happen holy spirit is saying there is no division only unity so today god is going to bless your family god is going to bless your business god is going to bless your finance hallelujah whatever you ask in the name of jesus you will get but you have to be happy in the lord hallelujah rishala mara be courageous holy spirit is saying so um, i see it is the time sister charai sister charai when i looked at your name holy spirit is saying that it is the time to have everything what you have been planned for many years i see you sister charai that you have god has given you great great plans god has given you great great plans means many many projects and now it is the time for you to do all the projects one by one i see what i see is that a, a basket and basket is closed uh, it is uh, not open it is closed but now i see it is opening that basket is open automatically nobody is opening that but i see the basket open the cover open and now it is the time to do everything you have you have written many things in a book i see that you have written one by one many many uh, things that god has given you about your plans and now it is um, going to bear fruit and now it is going to bear fruit so one by one it is going to the the world is going to see your plans now maybe somebody in your house has seen what, uh, what god has given to you or maybe many plans you have in your mind but holy spirit is saying this morning that now it is the time to bear fruit now it is the time now it is the time uh, to, to the world to know that these are the great plans of god given to sister chalai so it is going to happen 
uh, I see you having connections um, in the eastern side uh, that is from Japan I see you are having connections uh, from Japan and you are you have many great plans in your ministry and it is God is widening you bringing connections to you and it is going to spread and finance is also arranged for everything hallelujah hallelujah so what I am telling you then if you bear fruit you will be blessed you if you if you obey God obedience is better than sacrifice taking heed what the Bible says is better than any sacrifice hallelujah so how you love Jesus Jesus said if you obey my commands then I will come to know that you love me if you love me then you will be my disciples then the father will be glorified <coughs> hallelujah so today this time hallelujah what, what he says um, John 15 16 he says you did not choose me I have said it in the beginning John 15 16 you did not choose me but I chose you and appointed you um, that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should uh, remain that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give you hallelujah so today this morning I'm telling you that <coughs> if you are not bearing fruit if you are not doing anything for the Lord do everything for the Lord not something not do something for the Lord do everything are you doing something for your family no you are doing everything for your family are you doing something for your children no you are doing everything you are doing not uh, some you are not giving something to your children but you are giving everything what you have to your children so your attitude should, should change people are uh, giving everything to their family and doing something for the law no you have to give everything for the law hallelujah if you give everything for the law your life your time everything then you, you will be bearing fruit, become the, becoming his disciples because he chose you to become his disciple. And when you ask everything in his name, that will be given to you. So if anyone wants a deliverance today, this morning, you bear fruit and you will be delivered. Hallelujah. Whatever you can do for the Lord, you do and you will be delivered. So I am going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, speak. Holy Spirit speak. I pray everyone to you Lord. I bless everyone in the name of Jesus. Let Holy Spirit speak. Hallelujah. The sinusitis. Catherine Hedrick. Hedrick. I see you have a pain here. Pain here on your ear. Sinusitis heal, healing. Rishalama Rabba. Dilamana Sharaba. In the name of Jesus. I submit everyone, those who are watching this live video. Lord, bless everyone. Let everyone bear fruit. Let everyone bear fruit. Nobody should be in need. Nobody should lack. Everything must be provided. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let them bear fruit and let the provision come from heaven. It is opened. Yes, I see it is for you, Angelina. Angelina, it is opened. It is the education opened. Hallelujah. The finance for education opened. And I see the traveling expense also pro provided. So in these days, you are going to travel and you are going for studies and the provision is open. So you need not to be worried. It is going to happen. For a shakaram Do not do it continuously. 
they need they knew do dear dear do i see your name do holy spirit is saying that have a break don't do it continuously have a break wait for the law and lord has to reform you lord has to transform you into a new person and then god will give you plenty so don't go so fast take wait for the lord and move according to the speed of the holy spirit provision is coming for you we shall amara shinahara dirisinam indonesia i see a name indonesia it is for you dear bo indonesia i do not know whether you are a minister but i see the name indonesia in your name so god is going to do something great in indonesia through you if you believe it will happen rama shakari dumas hallelujah a great blessing is coming in your family john about a great blessing is coming in your family and you are going to be blessed by god and everyone in your family is going to know that you are a blessed child of god i see you looking for a new work and god is giving you a new work hallelujah ori shakibana there is a lord i submit everyone let everyone bear fruit everyone bear fruit let everyone become your disciple and whatever they ask in your name father i pray in the name of jesus let them be given to everyone who bear fruit it is settled remia rai sister sister remia rai uh, holy spirit is saying that it is settled whatever you face right now the major problem in your family in your business in your area whatever you are apprehended what you are whatever you are fearing the holy spirit is saying that it is settled so need not to be worried i see everything that you have been worrying it is um, i see it is burning in the fire and i see fruitfulness in your family i see the god's love in your family you are going to, your children are going to be blessed hallelujah one of your child is going for engineering i see like that hallelujah one of uh, you are going to be blessed your family is going to be blessed and i see there is a shift in residence the place where you are residing but it is not Where, where God is going to say, look, God is going to take you to another place. I, God is not telling to which place, but it is. Um, I see you. Um, you going to Middle East. I see in a desert place where there is plenty of sand. Hallelujah! And finance is opening for you. A financial breakthrough today this morning. A settlement. Settlement in your affairs. hallelujah everything for your whatever that has come in your life in the past it is for your goodness sister remia rai a brightness i see a brightness light shining in you in your family hallelujah i see you looking for a job but you are good in computer i think god is going to give you a job connected with computer but mainly you are called for ministering and god will uh, bless you to do his work god is going to bless your family hallelujah so i pray for everyone lord in the name of jesus let everyone bear fruit it is the time for everyone to get the blessings of the lord do not worry holy spirit says it is your time yes again Holy Spirit is saying it is the time for you to bear fruit to everyone. So 
I'm going to bear fruit. I'm going to pray to everyone to bear fruit, to become his disciples. Lord, bless everyone in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all the clarity and thank you, Lord, for bringing everyone, your beloved ones, to watch this live video in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, um, uh, I thank everyone, those who are watching this live video. I won't be in the live for one month, I think, because um, uh, this coming week I am going to Kenya and from Kenya to Liberia, one month in Africa. So, you must uh, pray for my ministries. Uh, wherever I go, I do not know whether there is a Wi-Fi or network there. Maybe if God gives, but uh, I am not sure whether I could come on live. So, um, I will be in live uh, when I come back to India. So, pray for my ministry. I will be praying for everyone. So, God is going to bless everyone. God is going to giving you fruitfulness in every area of your life. So, God bless you. Jesus name. Amen.